Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Kat here. So today I'm doing Seven Spooky Stories, the Ray Bradbury edition. So I am a huge fan of Ray Bradbury and I just thought it would be an interesting thing for Halloween to talk about some of my favorite short stories of his, particularly ones from The Martian Chronicles and The Illustrated Man. So. These two books have a vast collection of short stories in them, and I picked out my seven favorites that have like really good staying power. I chose the ones that I think are the creepiest because, I mean, this is Halloween, so I'm kind of trying to do the spooky thing. So without further ado, I'm going to count down from seven down to my most spooky. So number seven comes from The Illustrated Man, and it is The Visitor. So in The Visitor, People that have deadly illnesses are quarantined on Mars. When the story opens, people are talking about how deadly their illnesses are and how they're all just waiting to die. And then a man is sent to Mars and he is a telepath. So he can uh, project images for other people of different places and he can also alter the way that people see things. And when the person he's talking to figures that out, he wants to hide that he has that ability so that he can kind of use it to his own gain. The other people who are deadly ill, when they figure it out, they also want a piece of that new visitor. And things kind of take a very violent and sinister turn from there. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. My number six spooky story is also from The Illustrated Man, and it is Marionette's Inc. And in this one, there is a company called Marionettes Inc. and they can produce exact replicas of you or loved ones or friends for a certain amount of money. So when the scene opens, a man meets up with another man and they're talking about how their wives are kind of nagging them and won't let them go, are making them miserable. And the man tells his friend that he's going on vacation and the other man is like, how is that possible? How can you do that without your wife knowing? And they walk up to his house and they see that the man has a marionette of himself that is entertaining his wife. And you come to find out that the marionettes are more than they appear, and they have traits that are more human than they appear, both positive and negative. I thought that it was just an amazing play on w words, uh, the word marionette, as well as what ends up happening. I think Ray Bradbury is just a master of the short form and I just found this story like so hilarious in a sad like domestic way. Okay so my number five spooky story comes from The Martian Chronicles and it is The Earthmen. So in The Earthmen, like the title suggests, men come from Earth and are speaking with people that they encounter on Mars and they're in a building and they're kind of being passed off from one person to another and they can't really figure out why no one is taking them seriously and why no one believes that they've come from Earth. And as things progress, they realize that a certain thing that they had taken for granted is not true and they have become trapped in something that they didn't think that they would be trapped in and I think the ending just has so much staying power because if someone believes that you are crazy, how do you convince them that you're not crazy? So I just thought it was such like a bizarre ending to the story and I really recommend that one. It's just really really creepy in like a how would I ever survive that situation kind of way. So my number four spooky tale is also from the Martian Chronicles and it is Usher 2. So it is a reimagining of The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe set in Mars. So actually, when I originally read this, it just happened to coincide with us studying The Fall of the House of Usher by Poe in my lit class in university, and I remember being really excited and I photocopied and scanned the chapters in this book and sent them to my professor, but my professor of literature, that professor in particular, is kind of a stickler and kind of like a stodgy older white man. So all he wrote me back in the email was, that's interesting, period. And like I could feel the burn from my laptop, like I was like, wow, okay, fine, 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 okay, fine. But. I really liked it, I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was really cool. So if you like Poe and you like The Fall of the House of Usher, eh, I would give this a go because it's quite like an interesting take on it, obviously. Um, it's set in like a Martian landscape and things are just different and um, 
Bradburyfied, Bradburyfied, and Bradbury-esque. Yeah, so I really recommend it. So my number three spooky story is from the Illustrated Man, and it is the Velt. And this story is effing creepy. So picture a child's nursery, okay? That can basically uh, pro produce anything that your heart would desire. So there's two children, and they often spend time in the room, and they are usually like on safari and they're watching lions eat carcasses and they're going on journeys in the room and the parents start to become more and more concerned with what is exactly going on in the room when they're not watching and the end of this story was just so creepy and like I saw it coming because I'm like oh my god oh my god and then it happened and it's just really creepy. It's like, if you ever saw the movie Smart House where the walls can change, picture the walls changing, but then also there's like some phantasmagorical effects that are happening where it's just like, you're not sure if it's like a dream and you're not sure it's really happening. Like, is that real violence? Is it just on the screen? And yeah. So the Velt is really interesting and a really creepy, so creepy. So highly recommend. So that one is more creepy in the story sense. What actually happens is creepy and my top two contenders are mentally creepy. I feel like it would just really mess up your mind and it messed up my mind and that's why it has staying power with me because things that are story creepy or element creepy, I'll be like, ooh, that's creepy, and then I'll like get over them, but things where it messes with the characters' heads, I'm usually just like, no, 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 no. So without further ado, let's get to the top two. So my second choice is The Third Expedition in The Martian Chronicles. So The Third Expedition deals with, obviously, the third expedition of men coming in contact with Martians on Mars and how they interact. And when they're interacting, they're finding that a lot of people that they knew in their past are on Mars and things are, you know, reminding them of home. And then they realize, what if the Martians are taking the thoughts from our minds and reproducing all of our memories so all the people we're interacting with are not real. They're just figments of our imagination and basically the Martians are looking like them, smelling like them, talking like them, and this whole thing is nothing but an illusion. What if everything you're experiencing for months, days, years is nothing but a big facade? <laughs> and I was just like, oh my god. You're being gaslit by all of the Martians. 10 out of 10 creepy and also would recommend. The number one most creepy is one where it messes with you mentally and also just like gets you right in the feels. It's like gut-wrenching. And it is also from the Martian Chronicles and it is the Martian. So in this one there is an older couple and their son Tom has died and they're kind of mourning Tom's loss and it's raining and they are thinking of how great it would be if Tom was there and then suddenly Tom is there. Or is he? And I just remember like at the end of the story I definitely shed like a few tears because just it was a roller coaster like down, up, very up, very down, more down. like. Bradbury is a freaking master and a lot of these tales are really creepy but like somehow speak to humanity and get you right like in the feels and man I just am such a huge Bradbury fan so if any of these stories sound interesting to you you could probably find them online but also I do really highly recommend both of these books so The Martian Chronicles and The Illustrated Man. I just wanted to give some love to Bradbury because I love him so yeah love you boo. <laughs> He's so dead, but okay, fine. And um, yeah, so that wraps up my seven spooky short stories, Ray Bradbury edition. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up or hit subscribe. It would really help me out. And thanks so much for watching. Without further ado, I'm going to say bye. So happy reading. See you. Oh, and happy Halloween. Bye.